one with E85 and my additive. Additive? Yes, I put a, uh -oh. I use an additive. Breaking additive. news on this E85 story. And what are we doing now? We are retaking the box cover off because I didn't look at the right deal when I took it off. Okay, so where are we at, Danny? We are tired. Is where yeah. we're at. Basically, we're kind of the, at the end of what we can do. We're not going to put the bed back on. We're not going to put the exhaust back on until we have the gears back in, the side cover back on, right there. Well, there's another reason for it, but I don't. I can't say yet. Should I give a glimpse? Yeah. Like a quick glimpse? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So. We're gonna leave the bed off actually for a while, so we're gonna put we're gonna put the we're gonna put the piece I don't know what's called the piece that goes right here that holds a broken uh, cooler uh, thing, and then uh, it's gonna <laughs> and it holds and it holds the inner cooler and uh, some other stuff needed, but we don't need the bed for a while, but we do we gotta put the exhaust back on. So anyway, we're gonna put this thing back together as soon as we have the parts. Well, it's been a few days. We stuffed the engine back in. Uh, that was a separate video I think is already up. I don't remember. I can't remember where we're at. Regardless, this is either the start of a new video or the end of another one. But uh, engine's back in. We did record that. Maybe it's in a video, whatever. So, but where we're at right now, we wanted to take a look at a few more things. We're concerned. We're, what are the concerns? Concerned uh, because the oil pump locked up. Uh, that we didn't get enough oil up to the uh, camshaft. Type in, top end. Yeah, to the top end. So, yeah. Buddy of mine said, you know, pretty good explanation uh, on how to put that. Pretty good chance that you could have done some damage. Yeah, because it pumps the oil. This is going to be the last spot that goes dry. Or the first spot that first goes spot, dry. Yeah, because it's at the top. Yeah. So, pull the gut, uh, covers off. Like your brain every time you stand up. Huh? Yeah, so let's take a look at this and see. Looks beautiful. Oh, be careful. It's dumping sand. Yeah. So, basically... The concern is we have no idea how long uh, the oil pump was not running. We just know there was plastic in it. We know why there was plastic. We know exactly what happened. There's no guessing anymore. We could have just got lucky and it just yeah. right well, when we stopped it. Well, here's reality. I don't think the oil pumps had even quit yet. The oil pump gears are still good. I think, I think... I don't think there's any way that that oil pump had stopped and ran and ran for a long time because the gear wasn't chewed all the way off yet. So that oil pump being frozen, had it been frozen for a long time, those teeth would have been completely gone because they had been spinning until recently. So, nice which is me. which is you know fairly obvious by the condition of the cams, at least from what we can see right here. They look great. Yeah, that I don't feel no scoring or nothing. Yeah. Up end looks awesome. All right, then we can put it back together. Just got the oil pump and water pump gears back on. Yeah, all of them. All of them except for the one that's inside the main cover. Okay. And we gotta put the that big old thing back on. So here's what the gears look like. Oh, these are different. These look different than your old ones. I wonder why. They have teeth. Yeah, different color on one of them. Huh? Uh, one of them wasn't off color, but it wasn't that. That uh -huh. light, so I don't know. Huh. And what are we doing now? We are retaking the box cover off because I didn't look at the right deal when I took it off. 
first look at the journals. Well, there you go. Anyway, let's go take oh. a look at this. Let's go take a look at this. Here's where the last gear goes. Right here. This is the water pump gear right there. Back side of that is the water pump. He's cleaning it out with some purple stuff. Something like that. Anyway, that's what's going down. That's we'll have this thing back together. We'll have this thing back together soon and we'll fire it up and show you what it sounds like. We are just pulled that cover back off that I just put on. Yeah. So I can put some epoxy back on this. Well on, what? So here's what's <laughs> going on. So new gears are in place. The car is pretty much ready to fire up, right? Am I right? Uh, and how far away are we? We right? have some hoses back up, a little bit electrical. And it's pretty much there. Well, we gotta put the cover back on. Yeah. But what happened is, uh, we noticed this in a picture or something happened. Yes. See that chip? See that chip right there? Hopefully you can see that chip. Well, it shouldn't be a chip now. It has some clear epoxy on it now. Oh. But it's clear, so it looks like a chip. Taking precautions to make yeah. sure nothing happens. So basically, this thing's about to go back together. We've had a lot of buzz on the internet about uh, us saying that we think E85 might have taken out the gears. I don't know that it did. We're not saying we know that it did. I'm just saying that is how I feel about it. And if you don't agree, that's fine. Hey, look. Not a problem. I got three water pump gears here. I believe we want to do a trial. So what we are going to do is we're going to take these gears, these three gears, and we're going to uh, soak them in E85 and, and other things. Yes. Right? One we're going to soak in E85, another we'll probably soak in E85 and the oil from the car, mm -hmm. and then one with E85 and my additive that I put in it to see if that might have thrown a little hassle into it. Additive? Yes, I put a, uh -oh. I use an additive to- New news! <laughs> I use an Breaking additive- Breaking news on this E85 story. I use an additive to keep the uh, gas from going bad, the fuel from going bad. So now we've added um, a different element to this whole thing. A lot Which of I actually totally forgot about until I was at home and looking at all my stuff and I was like, oh, I did put the additive in. Uh, yeah. So yeah. a lot of people have um, been commenting. Some people are afraid to run E85 because of what they've seen us go through. I don't know that that's accurate. Some people, I don't know. I mean, I don't know that that's called for. I don't know that it's not either. Uh, some people are debating that, uh, you know, they're debating what we think as far as maybe E85 causing the gears to go bad. We're not saying we know. We're saying we feel. Well, I don't even know if we are. I did. But anyway, we're going to do a little bit of test. So it'll be coming up shortly. I don't know how soon. I guess we could probably soak it right away, right? And I'd soak it right away, but let it sit for quite a while. Yeah, it's going to take it's gonna a couple be a weeks, video. I would say, at least, right? At least a couple months. Huh? At least a couple months. Well, I'd say in two weeks we could do, you know, we could do some follow-ups. Yeah. We'll, we'll show you what we're going to do. We'll get it all set up. We'll show you that. Uh, in a couple weeks, we'll do a little follow-up. At the end, we'll make a complete video. Anyway, so that's going to be a while. But um, in the meantime, this thing's pretty much ready to go back together, um, other than uh, putting this case back on. And um, adding a couple other little things that we're going to do after we do some 0 to 60 tests. Oh, yeah, that's a whole different video. So once oh, yeah, this, I don't, don't want to bring that up. Never mind. Right? Once this thing is running... Something else is coming. There's some new parts. There's some new something. There's some not, something new is happening, and you're gonna see some. You're gonna see something out of this car you've never seen before. So it drive. What? It moving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll probably throw some big horns on it. Oh, at least just throw those on it, for sure. Anyway, uh, we'll be back. We're gonna come back. Uh, Danny's gonna be putting this thing together. We'll do a little bit of time lapse. Um, yeah.